Lawrence E. Oakton is the CEO and chief economist at the London-based independent research firm Arabia Monitor. We spoke while she was in the Middle East and I asked her about the potential of the One Belt, One Road initiative. The fact that uh, there used to be caravans that traveled uh, between China and, and the region uh, in the old Silk Route uh, is um, the reason why this visit is important and why the two regions can navigate the transformations uh, underway in very important ways. Important uh, among them, for example, is the massive financial package that e e Egypt is receiving from China, unprecedented in size. Another example is that Saudi Arabia used to be a net exporter of capital, and now it's a country that is um, in need of FDI in terms of boosting its infrastructure investment uh, requirements, and China is a capital exporter. Uh, and so there's a win-win uh, synergy between China and um, the, 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 the Middle Eastern economies, uh, prime among which are the countries that uh, President Xi is visiting, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and then Iran. Also, um, as you know, oil markets have shifted dramatically, uh, but uh, China remains uh, the most important customer for both Saudi Arabia and Iran, uh, and, and therefore it is of interest uh, to Saudi Arabia to keep close relations with China, particularly uh, uh, given that Iran is going to start supplying oil onto global markets, and also particularly because of softening demand in China. What stands out to you most about this visit to Saudi Arabia? And what are some things to watch as President Xi makes his way uh, through Egypt and Iran? What I have found very interesting is uh, the manner in which uh, Chinese foreign policy has articulated a desire uh, to lower tensions in, in the region. And by that, uh, what is meant is tensions between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. And um, I'm quite interested in this development whereby the Chinese start to articulate a political position on the region when in the past uh, they have mostly um, um, had economic interests that have been uh, prominent uh, but articulated very little in terms of the politics and what's interesting now is, is that they are underscoring the manner in which uh, the economics can support the politics and expressing a desire for lower tension in, in the region for the reasons I explained uh, above, uh, which is that both uh, uh, China um, and uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia, all three of them, uh, have, have interest in maintaining um, the relations they have and, and growing them particularly in oil markets, but also now in terms of attracting investment from China. Lawrence E. Oakden, thank you so much for joining us from Amman, Jordan.